हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मिसेस गीता झुंझरवाड़ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एंड प्रोफेशनल कम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वालचन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रेस इंटोनेशन एंड रिदम इन इंग्लिश at the end of this session student will be able to communicate smoothly and effectively being fluent in language involves not only understanding grammar and having a big vocabulary but also being able to speak smoothly and effectively that's why it's very necessary to understand some phonetic terms like stress intonation and rhythm in spoken english in this session today we are going to discuss about what is stress word stress and roots intonation and types and what is rhythm now let us discuss about what is stress stress is the degree of force with which a syllable or a word is uttered it is also defined as the degree of prominence the syllable has stress is the force placed on a word in speaking to make the meaning clear in many sentences generally the stress is given on syllable so let us discuss about what is syllable take a pause think about the question and try to write the answer so syllable a syllable is a unit of sound that creates meaning in language a syllable is made up of either a single vowel sound as in the pronunciation of of or a combination of vowel and consonant or consonants as in no and not now see the types of syllables some words have one syllable which is called as a monosyllabic for example in the word long there is only one vowel sound that is o so this word has one syllable but some words have many syllables which is called as polysyllabic and the example is communication here more vowel sounds are there so more than one syllables are also there we usually stress the most important content words now see the activity to understand stress in english we do not say each syllable in the same force or strength we say one syllable loudly and other syllables silently or quietly so let us take three words photograph photographer and photographic do they sound the same when spoken no because we accentuate a stress on one syllable in each word and it is always not the same syllable this example i have explained differently see the word photograph pronunciation is photograph see the first syllable i have given the stress and the two other words are weak sound that's why photograph now see the second word photographer here the first sound is weak and the stress is on the second syllable the other two are also weak see the third word photographic 
in this word also the first two syllables are weak and the third syllable is strong that's why i have given the stress on this third syllable see this example emphasis here the stress is on first syllable m emphasis now let us discuss about the rules of word stress there are two easy rules of word stress these rules are depended on prefix or suffix or word ending so the first rule one word has only one stress if it has two words it must have two stresses and the second one is there are primary stress and secondary stress in a word a secondary stress is not important than a primary stress and also has in long words now see the functional stress there are number of two syllable words which function both noun adjective or verb for example record conduct contain etc these words have stress on first syllable when they are noun or adjective now see the pronunciation carefully record conduct contain see again record conduct contain these words have stress on second syllable when they are used as a verb now see again the pronunciation and listen it carefully record conduct contain see here the stress is on the second syllable now let us discuss about the intonation intonation means it is the variation in the pitch of the speaker's voice used to convey information or alter meaning so intonation is the music of a language and english has intonation to tell the way how speakers express intonation means kinds of pitch of your voice goes up and down as you talk or recite something by singing it the voice can rise to a higher tone or a lower tone that makes speech lively and the meaning clear there are generally two types of intonation rising and falling now let us discuss about the falling tone falling intonation describes how the voice falls on the final strain syllable of a phrase or a cluster of words it is the most common type of intonation in english a falling intonation is very shared in wh questions and you see example where is the ne- nearest hospital where is the nearest hospital now rising tone rising tone or rising intonation describes how the voice rises at the end of sentence it is a pretty complicated phenomenon it expresses various types of emotions such as doubt politeness surprise interest lack of confidence rising intonation is shared in yes no questions see the example are you thirsty see again 
are you thirsty here the tone rises on thirsty see some examples of falling tone they left for london yesterday i want a cup of coffee we live in moscow now some examples of rising tone are you scared is this yours have you read this book see the tone rises on these words care yours book this is the best example of falling and rising tone see the pronunciation italian see again italian speech is one of the different parts of a language rhythm is about how we use a combination of stressed and unstressed words in sentences sentences have strong beats that is stress words and weak beats that is unstressed definition of rhythm and examples now rhythm means the major flow of words and phrases in verse or prose as determined by the relation of a long and short or stress and unstress syllables now see the examples begin again alive marriage common examples of rhythm good evening dear how's it going check please beautiful weather we are having now to infinity and beyond here sometimes the tone rises and falls down that is the rhythm of language if we understand these magical rules of english language we will improve our pronunciation and comprehension here i have given the reference of whatever i have used for my presentation have a good day